Good afternoon, fellow Bia friends all over the world. Today is 20th day of August 2024, and I am here uh, speaking to you from my base in Finland. I want to inform every one of you because it has become very imperative as we approach December convention in Finland, you must know certain things. The declaration of the restoration of independence of Biafra that is to take place on the 2nd of December is targeted at achieving two objectives. One is the delegitimization of Nigeria. Two is the legitimization of Biafra. After the declaration, we are going to have a very long battle with Nigeria. But this battle, the good news is that we define how this battle will be fought. We will fight them diplomatically. We will fight them politically. We will fight them internationally. And of course, we will fight them locally. So, the 2nd of December is not after that. Some of you will come and say, oh, there is still military barracks. There is still... You are going to have them. But let me tell you, if the Vietnamese fought America for years and succeeded in making America to flee, we are ready to fight Nigeria even more than what Vietnamese did. And we dictate how this particular war will be fought. We are never going into conventional warfare with Nigeria. But the delegitimization will take a different tone. And what I'm trying to tell you people today is that you must be prepared for a very long years of battle for the legitimacy of Biafra government. It is not something that happened in one day. It is not something that happened immediately after our declaration on 2nd of December. But 2nd of December, we mark the beginning of a very long battle which we are going to show our determination with our actions and inactions. So my fellow Bia friends, all I'm here to tell you this afternoon is for you to understand that after the declaration in December sec on December 2nd, 2024, the battle began. And we are not going to stop if it is going to take us 20 years to fight Nigeria differently than what we did in 67 and 70. We are ready for it. If it takes also 23 years for Taliban to defeat America and the left of their land, we are ready to fight even 40 years. Since 1967 to 2024, Nigeria continued to fight us. The only thing is that we have not fought Nigeria until now. And in this fight, we are still defending ourselves. So 2nd of December will mark the beginning of the Biafra liberation. Do not expect something or any magic to happen. We will make the magic to happen. Thank you, and may God bless you. Good day, my SMV, this is Satellite Media. Mr. Obada, I quickly respond to the statement that came from the Prime Minister of Biafra in exile. I'm talking about Saman Epa, who have uh, clarified that after the de declaration of uh, Biafra on the 2nd of December 2024, that contrary to the opinion of some people, that there will be, there will still be military barracks, police formations in the eastern part of the country. Is this what you know before? Um, I am Mr. Pajani Okokon, the Minister of Republic of Biafra. If I am saying the current IPOB government of Biafra, but I am I thank you for the life you give unto us, unto our fans, everybody. Be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, you see, what Samuel Nekpa said is reality because we will not expect immediately Biafra is declared then everything concerning Nigeria will be dismantled immediately from the Biafra land. No, it's impossible. Because I've been saying it all the time. Whether we separate from Nigeria amicably, have, have our eat vendors smoothly, still, we still have some years to stay together with Nigeria before we finally go. Now, Nigeria cannot be dismantled in Biafra land, a military declaration, and we have our independence that very day. It cannot be dismantled immediately because you give them chance to evacuate. 
You give them time to evacuate. But it's better that it's going to be a long drawn battle. It depends how we when we get it. It depends if it's push me, I push you. It do that will be a long drawn battle. Okay, look at Southern Sudan. Southern Sudan separated from not from, from Sudan itself. And Southern Sudan start their own immediately after their independence in 1956. They fought for 10 years and dropped their gun. And everybody re rejoin or reunited. But demoralization, discrimination, and the killing continue until 1982, when the highest military rank from Southern Sudan, John Garaj, said, no, too much is too much. They pick up arms again. They fought, 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 fought. So this time, Southern Sudan divided into two, fighting against themselves and still fighting, for, fighting against uh, Sudanese government. Until, until 2011, I think until, until 2000 and, uh, I think 2004 or five, they reached compromise that the United Nations came in and said they should not fight again. Then the whole dialogue that Southern Sudan must surely go and they agreed to go. And it took Southern Sudan four years to remain with Sudan, four years. Are you looking at another 20 years? Because even as some other just cited, I think Afghanistan, where Taliban have to fight up to like 21 years before America finally exited their country, before they could form government of their own. Are you looking at something up to 20 years? No, I, it cannot be 20 years. But I'm giving an instance that it, it may stay, not as we are expecting. Even when Ouazika started, people thought that it would be within six months. You cannot get independent on a platter of gold. You cannot get independent overnight. Because when a woman is conceived, the woman did, did not deliver the day he conceived, she conceived. It took nine months. And that, and that nine months, you pass through pens. You pass through, you pass through pens. On the delivering day, it's March. And the minute you deliver, you forget about the pens. The joy overtake overtake the pens. Now, as I'm saying, Southern Sudan, you took them another four years. When they have already dropped arms, not Sudan, uh, Southern Sudan dropped arms, Sudanese government dropped arms. You took them another four years before they finally agreed and the Southern Sudan go. They settle amicably, settle uh, the debts before Southern Sudan were able to have their final going. But some people are saying this is a sign of weakness on the part of uh, Samana by himself. It's not a sign of weakness. It's not a sign of weakness at all, at all. It's a normal process. Now, as he said, um, it will take 20 years. Uh, as I, I it took Afghanistan uh, uh, 21 years. Uh, and it took uh, uh, Vietnam so many years uh, to come out from uh, before America took uh, leave Vietnam. You know, America fought in Vietnam for 10 years or 11 years. So what is your message for those that are saying this is a sign of weakness on the behalf of, um, on the part of um, the um, Prime Minister of Biafra and Ezra? I'm talking about someone else. Uh, they don't know the process of independence. That's what I'm telling to the people that they say. It's, a, it's, a, it's not a sign of weakness. But it's a, it's, they don't know the process of independence. And to our own side is doing it for us not to be vanquished again. Because now, that process is said, it will take two years. If, if Biafra was declared, if he enter arms conflict, if he enters arms conflict, which means it will be, be up to 20 years. No, <clears throat> let's just get it clear, because I want to have ruled out conventional war. He said they are not going to engage with Nigeria in a conventional war. I think you have made that very, very clear. Yes, he made it very clear. This is why I say, he trying to save the lives of the Biafrans. If you enter to confessional war, it may be like Russia and Ukraine. You understand? Which will not all go well on both sides. Because Biafra will come up and have their supporters. Nigeria will come up and have their supporters. Then these two countries will be uh, guinea fowl for arms manufacturing nations. Well, that's what I'm saying. Now, but it may enter, it may enter arms conflict or arms confrontation through guerrilla war.
But they have made it clear as well that they are going to fight diplomatically, politically, both at the international arena and all of that. What do you think that can bring to the table to help actualize the effort? No. If you if we fought them politically, diplomatically, internationally, if you see the process, it's a process. It's a process which may take years again. Because it will at that time it will come dialoguing and di not dialoguing, agree and disagree. You understand? Now, but if you fail diplomatically, fail politically, fail internationally, it may enter guerrilla warfare. And the guerrilla warfare is not a, a war you win overnight. So Idwakanano is ruled out completely. Idwakanano, part of it may be a guerrilla warfare. And now Idwakanano is giving you warning. But when he enter, blow me, I blow you. Now it can it, it have entered confessional war. Which I don't preach you enter confessional war. If the guerrilla war, I don't preach you enter guerrilla war. Because coming to Nigerian side, Nigerians don't know how to fight guerrilla war. Nigerian side don't know how to fight guerrilla war. Nigerian side believe everybody is enemy. Everybody is enemy. That's why you see them entering to the houses, going to the killing civilians. When are not the civilians that kill them? Target the gorillas that are fighting you gorilla wars. Fight them. Target them and fight them. Not when the gorilla come and fight you. When gorilla fight you, finish. You start going to fight a human being, civilians. When is gorilla is fighting you? Look for the gorilla that is fighting you and kill the gorilla if you can be able to kill the gorilla. But when the gorilla fight you, finish. You went and uh, kill, 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 kill human being. Not on that, not, 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 uh, uh, not a human being with a gun. Civilians. You understand? So people should not think that. Uh, Biafra, when he declared Biafra on 2nd uh, of December, they should not expect that, mira, that um, uh, magic should happen. Or they should not expect that uh, bread and butter will be in the land of Biafra. Or manna will start falling in Biafra. No. Before we expect magic, let us go to another area, Mr. Bara. Thank you very much for attending.